What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here. We are going to be calling the winner for this beautiful 1998 12 valve Cummins, five speed, it's all the goods. Heavy duty, 7.3 power stroke. You can do that right now. Head on over to lnpgear.com, simply place an order. See if I can find myself in the camera again. Simply place an order on the site and you're automatically entered to win this beautiful 97 F250 plus $5,000 in cash. Let's get this phone call underway. His name is Jake and he is from Campbellsville, Kentucky. Let me just give you a quick little refresh on how the winner drawing and selection works. When you guys place orders on the website to enter to win these trucks, the entries are submitted into the website and into the database, and then which is forwarded over to a third party, non-biased sweepstakes administration located out of Rochester, New York, and they do the non-biased third party drawing. The reason they do the drawing is because they don't make any money off the giveaways, they don't pay for any of the giveaway stuff, they don't do any of the marketing, they, don't have, they have no funds and no real attachment to drawing any specific winner. They have, they have no bias in it. They're not allowed to draw anybody that they know personally or work with that may have entered the giveaway, and they're not allowed to draw anybody that is related to me, close friendships, or employees, or anything of that matter. It is completely non-biased and completely unrelated to anybody involved with the giveaway process. So that is how you can be rest assured that it is always a non-biased drawing. And I know that there are sometimes people in the comments that make irrational statements like, oh my gosh, that person's only so many hours from you. They must be a relative. And you're like, okay, there's hundreds of thousands of people within a couple hours from me. That does not mean they're all my freaking relatives. Let's get all the nonsense aside, give him a call and congratulate him on winning 9812 valve with $5,000 in cash. Yes, sir. What's going on, man? How are you? I'm pretty good. What about yourself? I'm doing fine. Has it sank in quite yet? No, no, it hasn't. It's, it's really, I don't know. I just. You'll just have to get it and put it in yeah. the driveway, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's wild. I never thought anything would happen to me like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I know what you're saying. I, I definitely understand. <laughs> Congratulations, first off, and thank you so much for placing that order and supporting the brand. Of course, paid off great dividends for you in this situation. Yeah, uh, yeah I appreciate it. Yeah, dude, dude, I appreciate you. Have you like watched any of our stuff or any of the brand stuff or posts for any amount of time or how did you find us? Whenever I was younger, which I'm 18 now, I was I don't know, probably 14, 13. Me and my brother watch y'all's videos all the time. Oh, okay. Uh, way back, like, whenever your dad had that 7.3 that got wrecked. Oh, yeah, so that would be, I think we probably 2017 then. Yeah, it was, yeah. we used to watch y'all stuff all the time. But I had y'all on social media, yeah. and uh, I seen that truck, and I was like, man, that would be awesome if I won that. I got that phone call. And uh, I just could not believe it. I just couldn't. It was, it's crazy. Dude, heck yeah. That's what's up. And uh, I was like, whenever I'm 18, I'm going to enter. I want to try that. And he was actually from down in your neck of the woods. Uh, he was, he, did he went, he come back later and won one, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he's from, I don't know what part of Kentucky he was from, but he was, he's from Kentucky. Yeah, and uh, he had he had gotten drawn for one at one point in, you know, our you know sweepstakes administration. They always have to ask, you know, your age and just for a copy of your driver's license, just to verify. And they they drew him, they checked his ID, and they're like, "Dude, you're still like six months out from being 18." And so like we like by law we're not allowed to to draw you because there's like federal regulations on minors, you know, winning sweepstakes and stuff. And, and so he is like, ah, oh, man, he was real cool about it though. You know, he's like, oh, he's like, I understand. I don't want you guys to get yeah. in trouble. And well, he entered, he didn't enter one for an entire year because he waited until he was like, for sure, his ID was updated and he's 18, you know, and he entered one for that blue one. Yeah, that blue 12 valve, the compound turbo truck, and he won. Yeah. <laughs> and he hadn't entered that whole time in between because he was waiting. <laughs> and he's thinking one and I'm like you've got to be I called him I'm like Michael Brady Mike I'm like why does this sound so familiar he's like I was that one time you called somebody that wasn't old enough that was me I said are you kidding me <laughs> I couldn't believe it I have seen it around here before he he ain't 20 minutes from us oh really 
And I have seen it over there before, and I was like, that is that truck that they gave away. <laughs> I mean, it's Toyota Blue, so it's the only one like it. Easy to recognize. Yeah, for sure. It's kind of funny, though. You guys are you guys are both going to have, you know, extended cab short bed 12 valves <laughs> down there. And he actually, he five-speed swapped his now, so it's got a five-speed in it, too. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, no, it was a build auto, and he swapped it out with a five-speed. <laughs> yeah, he really wanted a manual, but he didn't want to get rid of the truck, so he put a yeah. he put a five speed in that. I bet it's all I've been able to think about since uh, Friday. What was he called me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been on my mind ever since. No, I yeah, I get it. Yeah, I was I had totally forgotten to call you right away because I hadn't checked my email, and he's like, he's like, hey. I already I called the guy. You got to give him a call, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, I totally forgot. I didn't even realize you had drawn him yet, because get caught up on the weekend and checking emails. It's just not on my priority on a Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, I got a hold of you, and I'm thinking like, well, I hope he's not upset. <laughs> it's been a couple days. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much again. Thank you so much for supporting the brand and placing that order. And uh, congratulations again. Can't wait to see you and get you your truck. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'll be talking to you soon. All right. Have a good day. Yep, you too. <laughs> Bye. Well, that is Jake Gray from Campbellsville, Kentucky, and he just won a 98 12 album, $5,000. You could be next with this 97 F-250 that comes with $5,000 in cash. Here we are again. Oh my goodness. We got a five speed, four wheel drive, dually. And you can tell by the interior, it's a freaking 12 valve. You realize deep way under the surface and like a fire needs coal in the furnace. This is your goal that makes it all worth it. This is your why yeah. that gives you your purpose. Let's go. Thoughts can keep you down, pushing deep until you drown. Or they can keep you up strong, focused on the now. Glass half full or has it been emptied out? Well, that's all up to you and your mind. Do you doubt anything, everything, not a thing? Make my thoughts work for me, manifest what I need. What I want, what I see, I could be anything I attract all the things that I see I believe I'll achieve as I breathe In and out again and again I don't doubt I sit in a plan And I found out that I can't execute If I'm driven, if I listen, if I learn All the wisdom, read some books Something written, watch the best teacher system Well everybody, here it is And um, man, oh man Super freaking pumped about this truck Because... There's a little bit of backstory on it, and I'm gonna get into it. I've been wanting to find another 12 valve five speed dually for the longest time. I've never been like super tentatively looking for one, like day in and day out, like this is the only truck I'm gonna settle for. But for this go around, when I was shopping for another one of these 12 valves, I was like, I want to find a freaking dually, and I would love to find it in a manual. Although they are out there, and you can still find them, clean they're very few and far between so most of the ones that i were finding you know is three five ten fifteen hours away and you'd find like one clean one out of you know hundreds of like rusty ones and i'm like man it's just so freaking hard to find one of these so i ended up finding this truck on facebook marketplace and it was literally the day after i bought the obs 73 which by the way you guys can get entered to win that obs 73 in there and i'll show you that in just a minute here plus the five thousand dollars in cash and that giveaway is ending on november 20th that being said, I was I just bought that 7.3. I was looking for one of these. I could not find one for the longest time. So I bought that 7.3 because that came up and it was a good deal. And I like that truck, super clean. Also another one of my favorite old school diesels. And then this came up the day after I bought it. So I messaged the guy and I said, dude, I said, I just bought a truck. I've got a lot going on this week, but the following weekend, can you, could you meet up? And uh, I want, I want the truck. He said, absolutely. So we set up date, set up a time, all that stuff. Long story short, the day before I'm supposed to go pick this truck up, he was having second thoughts on selling your truck and decided, I don't think I want to sell it. It's just, it's super clean. It's hard to find them like this. I think I'm going to regret it type of deal. So I think I'm going to hold on to it. I said, okay, no problem. Do you have any other recommendations or any other leads on these clean old trucks? And he said, yeah, I've actually got a buddy that has one. I got a, I know, I know of another guy that has one. One's a dually, the other one's not a dually. So I was like, okay, cool, send him my way. Talked to another guy, same thing. Set up a time, it was about a week had gone by 
and we're like back and forth, you know, trying to nail down the exact time and day I'm going to go, you know, meet up to buy this thing. And the day I'm supposed to go buy it, he says, on second thoughts, I think I want to keep it. Same type of, same, same situation all over again. And it was actually the friend of the guy that owned this truck. So I messaged this guy back. I said, hey man, I said, your buddy backed out at the last minute. I said, do you happen to know anybody else? He said, dude, he said, I feel terrible. He said, you know what? I'll sell you my truck, but it's not for sale to anybody else. If you want to come check it out, you know, bring cash, it's yours. I said, sounds like a plan. I will be there literally tonight, ready to buy this thing. And here we are. Freaking love the truck. Lots of stuff done to it in terms of like subtle modifications and like bulletproofing and just making the truck more of a sound daily driver and it's very soft to drive and suspension wise. It's on stock suspension in terms of ride height, but it does have some Fox shocks on it. Um, it's got some stuff done under the hood, which we'll go over some of that here a little bit later on, but super clean truck, 3,500 of course. It's got that five speed. You guys have already seen that. You know how much I freaking love the five speeds. It's got the five speed. It's the 12 valve. It is a 97 though, so it does not have that folding back door. But man, that is, that is, you make it a hard configuration to find in clean condition to super hard. Try to find one of these with a 98 quad cab, five speed, 12 valve. That, that's a very hard configuration to find. They're Again, they're out there, but they're super, super hard to find. Super clean. I mean, just look how clean this thing is. I try to wash it and there's a little bit of, little bit of spots and stuff on it from washing it, but super clean. You can see all the fenders. I mean, you can just see there's some dirt on the fenders, but it is super clean. There's the rockers, the doors, cab corners. I mean, the thing is like super, super, super clean. Very, very tastefully put together. You know, it was it was used as a truck time here and there, but uh, not not extremely. You know, so it does have a gooseneck in it. It's got some cool old school style dually wheels on it. I actually don't mind the tires on these. They actually kind of fit the truck nicely. It's 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 aggressive, but it's not so wide that it's just ridiculous. It still drives very nice down back roads and stuff in more narrow areas. Super clean frame, very, very little surface rust starting on it anywhere. It's got the recessed toolbox in the back that he put in it. I mean, just such a pretty truck. Again, the Fox shocks in the rear as well. So the thing rides like a cloud. Like it, it rides surprisingly nice without any load behind it. Usually these things with no load, they kind of bounce you around all over the roads and they don't ride the softest. This thing rides so, so, so smooth. It, it's, it's awesome. Again, I'll show you the rockers and cab corners on this side. You know, everything is super, super clean. Super pretty truck. Got a dash cover on it. It's got your basic gauges, you know, your boosts, EGTs, trans, suede headliner, suede sun visors, all brand new. Does have new carpet in it. Does have the brake controller. Seat's got these couple little tears right here and that's it for the interior in terms of like damages and downfalls you see the back seat it's not ripped to pieces it's perfect super clean oh you left a bunch of pins in here <laughs> but yeah super super clean truck before we get to starting the thing up let's go for some of the things that are done to the truck it's got a 4k governor spring kit in it 191 delivery valves. The truck's got shied lightning billet tip injectors, a 62 millimeter fat shaft turbo, an O-ringed head with Hamilton valves, 60 pound valve springs, and the valves are recessed in the head for additional clearance. A brand new South Bend dual disc clutch put in it with just a couple thousand miles on it with a fully gone through NV4500 transmission. And it also has the fifth gear nut welded. So it's very tastefully done in terms of power slash driveline performance. Nothing's like extreme, but the thing is lively. I mean, it it 
pulls so, so, so nice. Like it, it's really a fun truck to drive. The five seat makes it really fun, but the way that this thing is configured in terms of power, it runs super, super nicely. Tons of good low end and high end power. I mean, it's like the best of both worlds and it, and it drives really, really nice. So now let's get this thing started up here. And in this truck, the parking brake works, which it kind of seems like in most of these old trucks, the parking brakes do not work. Thing starts up awesome. And as it does on a lot of aftermarket uh, clutch transmissions, when you have the clutch pushed in, the clutch rattles a little bit. It's just kind of how it is on those heavy duty clutches. Like I said, the paint's in like phenomenal shape. There's just a couple smears from when I was trying to dry it off quick enough this morning after I washed it. So there's a little bit of a little bit of soap that dried up on there, but the thing is so so clean. Runs awesome. Does not leak a drop of oil at all, which some people like to make the comments like, "Oh, if it ain't if it ain't leaking, it it ain't got it in a 12 valve because they all leak." This thing does not drip a lick of oil. Like you will not even find a dime size spot of oil under the truck when it's parked on concrete. I mean, it's it's pretty wild. Doors are not saggy. All the body lines are perfectly gapped. Man, I can definitely see why he had second thoughts about selling it for sure. So this is the 97 OBS 7.3 that I was telling you about that you guys can actually enter to win right now. 97 F250, 03 axle swap, four wheel drive, six inch lift, 35, 16 by 12s, super clean, zero rust on the truck, literally anywhere there's hardly even a speck of surface rust on the underside other than a few spots like on the leaf packs and stuff i mean super super clean truck super clean interior i mean super shiny look how reflective the paint is super clean interior seat is not ripped up it's got a cover to protect it but it's not a. Uh, it's not all ripped up or stained up it's really clean same with the other one in the interior same with the other side in the interior overall, just super, super clean. And Jake Gray from Kentucky is gonna be picking up this 98 12 valve quad cab short bed five speed on Tuesday. So that's pretty cool. Coming from Kentucky, he's picking this thing up. And I know it seems kind of crazy, you know? Like when you're watching the video you're right now, you know, you're thinking like, you've still got this truck. The other giveaway is already almost over and it's, these have been really, really close together. We're kind of going back to what we used to do where we would make giveaways like basically short, short 30 day giveaways, start to finish done. And the fact that this one overlapped with that OBS Ford giveaway just for a little bit, it makes it seem even shorter because really this giveaway just ended on October 23rd, which it's only November 8th when I'm filming this video. So it hasn't been that long. It's been like just two weeks since that giveaway ended. He got drawn and was called about four days ago and he's gonna be coming here in one week to pick up the truck. So it's just how the process goes. When the giveaway ends, generally it's somewhere between anywhere from seven days all the way up to three, sometimes four weeks between when the giveaway ends and a winner actually picks up their truck. Cause it just kind of depends on their schedule, their work schedule, scheduling time off, me getting time off, um, stuff like that. Because, you know, I do still travel a lot too. You know, you guys see me when I'm at home, but like I'm gonna be doing some more traveling here coming up. So like between lining up all the schedules, we're still getting them their vehicles as fast as we possibly can with what time allows for both of us. And, uh, but yeah, so this one's going off here in just a few more days and this truck's gonna be going down to Kentucky. And then that beautiful Ford over there is gonna be going to one of you guys here. On the note of this truck though, if anything, what would you like to see done to this? Again, 
I'll take you guys for a drive when I got my guy Ty over here to do some film work so we can actually drive the truck and get video because you can't really do it solo driving the manual it's a little bit of a pain but when we get some video over here driving this thing i'll show you how good this thing drives going down the road it is so so fun it's fun um that new stiff clutch though that's definitely much different than a stock one in terms of the feel i'm so used to like most of the clutches i've been driving anytime recently on these trucks have been always like stock ones and they feel so much softer and spongier everything is fresh runs and drives super nice and it's yeah it's pretty freaking cool but anyways guys anything that you guys would have special requests wise to see done on this i know that when we got this truck i bought this truck because of how nice and clean it was and for the most part pretty much everybody was like other than the wheels and tires which is what i did um the, it's one of those trucks that you just want to kind of leave it alone like you'd hate to do too much to it some people wanted to see clear lighting and clear cab lights and all white leds but like most of the comments and suggestions were like just don't touch anything <laughs> like keep it classic looking don't mess with it too much what's your guys's preference on this this thing again stock suspension tastefully done with like fox shocks and some mild power thrown at it to make it a very very fun and enjoyable daily driver truck with that stick in it you know he's got super nice super bright led headlights in this thing the cab lights aren't foggy they're all nice and clean and crystally still you can check those out here look how clean those look they're not like all foggy and wore out looking the paint i mean looks freaking great the wheels and tires my personal opinion they look freaking great so freaking huge lugs of tread on them. Um, so yeah, it, it's it's your guys' call on what you'd like me to do to this thing. Let me know down in the comment section below. But it's so it's so freaking cool. Yeah definitely like that truck thank you so much for watching and tuning into the video i hope you guys like this truck again suggestions in the comment section below comments with the absolute most likes are going to be the modifications or upgrades that we take into the deepest consideration so be sure to leave those down below and scroll down take your votes leave some likes leave your comments and we will take those into consideration when it comes to this truck and don't forget if you want to get entered to win this one ends november 20th which is in like 10 days so take advantage of it while you can and i'll catch you in the next video guys peace